It's your girl Kayla here and as you can see in today's video we are about to start something new and I'm super excited because not only is this makeover necessary it's also gonna turn out really really cute and so if you can't tell by that title today we will be starting on the laundry room makeover stay tuned to the end so you guys can leave your input on all the options on my design and things like that if you're new here please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button and if you're one of my returning subbies Y'all, thank you so much for the patience. New videos are on the way, and I'm really excited about what's to come. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Alrighty, y'all. So, many of you guys have been asking me where my laundry room is, and it's behind this door. And oh, honey, it is a mess. Y'all already know we're gonna get it together. But first, let me take you guys inside. Alrighty friends, so this was the current state of the laundry room as of a couple of weeks ago and it was full of all the tools and wood and you know everything that we would need to do our projects around the house pretty much and I didn't want it to be for this purpose anymore so I asked Marcus if he could you know just take everything out so we could see the space again and know what we're working with and so that's exactly what he began to do shout out to Marcus you guys make sure you're subscribed to his channel link down below but yeah anyway he's beginning to take everything out and as the things are coming out the room is just growing in size and it's so refreshing to see that we actually do have a lot of space to play around with and we'll get into the layout in just a moment laundry room if I can find the footage of what it looked like when I first closed on the home I'll include that but it wasn't in my empty house tour video so for many of you guys this will be the first time that you're seeing this room or even knowing that it exists and it does but it needs a lot of TLC if you take a look just a quick scan of the walls right now I mean there's cracks here I, I don't know what's going on there the wall here uh drywall and mud had been done but it looks a hot mess cobwebs everywhere the floors are just they're just not cute old water heater but of course it still works still using it this fridge came with the house and so it's just here to store like anything extra that we might have a little tmi for y'all interested in seeing what's in the refrigerators this one's basically empty but um but yeah i would say that it is a pretty good size and it does have a window which is really nice to bring in a lot of that natural light and um the space just needs a complete makeover okay so the first thing that i would like to change in this laundry room is the orientation of the door when you open the door it swings out this way right so if i'm coming in I open it like this, but the light switch is all the way over here on this side, which is super inconvenient. So I want to flip it and have the door open the opposite way. That way we don't have to get into moving a light switch over here on that side, trying to save as many coins as possible. So 
that's the first thing that needs to be changed. Okay, over here would be our washer and dryer area. So behind the refrigerator, we can move it and show you guys as well, but there are some hookups back there. Granted, we've never used them. The house didn't come with the washer and dryer, so I'm not even 100% sure if they work. But because the hookups are there, we're thinking this will be the best place to put the new washer and dryer combo. But another eyesore is this water heater. I did look up different ways to try to conceal it and make it look a little bit more pretty. Even if I was to get a brand new one, um, it still would just kind of be like something you'd see as soon as you walk in. And so what we've been thinking about doing is getting a tankless water heater. I'll pop up some pictures here of what those look like. And so my idea is to do um, a washer dryer and then do cabinets on either side. And the water heater will then be hidden inside of one of those cabinets. So you wouldn't even see this anymore, which would just be a lot prettier. And then over above this area, I want some floating shelves. So that's the big design for this side. Okay, so coming over this way now, remember the fridge won't be there anymore on that side because the washer and dryers are gonna be over there. But I still wanna keep that fridge. So we're gonna move it right here in this corner or in this corner. You guys will see on the, um, example floor plan which way it will go and then next to it i want a counter cap and then drawers right here as well so that's pretty much the big design the only issue is or the only thing is that we're not sure if it's actually going to be able to work so we're just going to have to be super flexible with all of our ideas we may have to end up doing a stackable washer and dryer if the tankless water heater doesn't work out We'll just see, but um, this is the process that we're going through currently. Today, you guys, y'all are going to come along with us shopping to pick out new washers, dryers, tile, paint colors, just to really bring this room to life. I do know that I want my bottom cabinets to be a really pretty light blue color. I'll pop up some swatches later when we go to Home Depot. And I also know that I want the walls to stay a just a very nice, white, light, bright color. And the floors, that's one of the big decisions and I can't wait for us to go shopping for those because I do kinda wanna do something fun on the floor or do the same tile that we have within the kitchen. So let's go ahead and get shopping. in Home Depot as you can see and I was just looking at the paint colors because y'all know that I want to do blue in the laundry room so I was picking out a few different swatches that I might like and so these are the ones that I have currently um there are four of them get into it and I want to do if I haven't mentioned this already like a really pretty light blue with gold accents now we're about to look at the tile and see if they have a blue floor because I will, I'd be kind of into a blue tile in there. So let's see if they have something. Okay, so they do not have any flooring that I like. So we're gonna look at the washers and the dryers. Okay y'all, so this is the washing machine that I told myself that I would want because ideally I'd want to put a countertop on top of here. But now y'all, I'm not so sure because like the ones that are top loading, I really enjoy that. I feel like that's super nice too versus having to open from like right here. You guys down in the comments, please let me know like what washers and dryers you guys have and if you prefer to do it like top or have the circles here on the front or whatever. 
I'm honestly not sure at all. This one's so fancy. Oh my, this looks like an oven. That one's 944 bucks. Who knew that washing machines and dryers could be so expensive? I have a good idea of the washer and dryers. So now let's go look at the countertops that they might have in here. Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna do laminate out inside of the laundry room just for a more cost effective option. I would love to do butcher block out there. I was talking to Marcus about it. He was like, nah, it's way too much money to be putting out there, which I kind of agree. Um, so these are some options that they have here. I'm just gonna pick a few cards um, that I might like. So let's do that now. Okay guys, so these are literally the only three that I like because if they simply just had like a white countertop, I would be kind of okay with that too. This looks like it might just be a simple, oh, no it's not. They're all different. They're all different. Yeah, but this one is probably, nah, not really feeling that one like that. Alrighty y'all, so these are like all of their prefab options and you don't have to wait um to get like these ones made or anything like that however i don't like any of these and really i can make do with this oh it looks so bad on camera <laughs> okay i could i could make do with with one of these because it'd be quicker and be like much faster and stuff they look really bad on camera um and they don't look that great in person either but they're still like cost friendly um ways to get the job done you can see the prices down there 109 109 109 each the only thing that i just really dislike that really dates these counters so much is like the lip like the trim piece that they add to this it looks it just dates it so much okay so here you guys can see what i mean like instead of having this piece here i just want it flush so i did not really find too much here outside of our paint colors and some laminate countertop options so um i think we're gonna go to floor and decor to look at tile but i also know they have counters there too so let's go see what they have and then the washer and dryer um selection here wasn't quite the best either and I think Brand Smart has better prices because I was looking at them online and they just seemed a lot more affordable like to get a set for around a thousand so I'm gonna go there Thinking we're gonna do uh, top loads instead of the front load. This is aesthetic. Pretty. Oh, yeah, I really like this one. Now, this one is everything. Oh, this is 5.5 cubic feet, so. This one's really cute. Okay. But you know what? I wonder if they, um, can do it in a different color than the rose gold because this style is beautiful like i love the color it's not like a bright white it's more of like an off-white right okay y'all these are some cheaper ones we're starting to move into um this section these are kind of like your regular ones that you might see so um this one is 474 real cute and then this one is also cute it's 4.99 there's nothing wrong with these either. Let me back it up. Like these two. 
And that's, it'll get the job done, you know? For sure. For sure. Y'all let us know mm -hmm. what brand you guys would recommend for a washing machine and a dryer. There are literally so many, as there are with most appliances, so. Hey, people. So a lot of those things are marked down because they have scratches or dents or something mm -hmm. like that, so. It's a place, this place, um, and then I know that was a place they got like marked down appliances and stuff like that. Yeah, so maybe we'll go to, well, should we go to another one of those places? No. Okay. Well, anyways, I do have a better idea now of what I do want. We solidified the decision on for sure doing top load um, versus the front load. So at least we have that solidified now. Okay guys, so here we are in floor and decor. And like I mentioned to you all, I want to do a countertop. We looked at some at Home Depot, but they have some in here that are in stock. And so these are all the different options that they have for us to choose from. Automatically, the marble one is calling my name a little bit, but I also kind of like the ice white quartz too, because if we do a more so gray floor, It'll look really pretty. Here is a sample of the ice white quartz. And then marble is number three. This is one is also really pretty. It's called Clout River. Is that up here anywhere? Clout River. I just want your, I just want your time. Think that's one of the best? Okay. Alright y'all, so this is the towel that we have within the kitchen, which is definitely would be an option for the laundry room as well because we do have a couple pieces left over. We might need like one more box maybe, who knows, but this is definitely one of our options. So now we want to find at least two more options. This one is kind of nice. It's very simple though. It's probably too simple, but I love the price. This is only 69 cents. Okay guys, so this is the an option. This is actually cute. And for 69 cents, this is nice. I I really like this. I'm rocking with it. Okay, so this is option number two. Okay, y'all, we are getting to the area that is making my heart flutter. I'm starting to see a lot of really cute patterns and stuff. So this one is a dollar and 19 cents each. And I do kind of like what's going on here it does look very similar to the flooring in the kitchen except this one has a whole bunch of colors and then over here we have another option this one is a dollar 29 this one is actually really really pretty whoa like it's a really nice navy and then with the light blue cabinets Hmm, this could be interesting. We would have to change up the color of the kitchen just a little bit so that it would be a little bit darker. Okay, we might add this to the car as an option. That's unique. So this one also caught my eye, but the more I look at it, the more it's just reminding me of Frozen, which isn't a bad thing, but I just don't think it's the one. It looks a little too busy. What y'all think? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, y'all, so they also have some peel and stick options right over here, and that one up there caught my eye, so I'm gonna see if we can look at it up close, and this would be another way that we could definitely save some coins. This is it right here. This is actually so cute. Mm -hmm. Wait, this is actually really Especially cute. if the cabinets match. 
especially if the cabinets are within this shade family, which they mm -hmm. kind of will be. Not exact, but similar. This is really pretty. I'm kind of a fan. Okay guys, so I found three really good options that you know we are excited about here. And so you guys be sure to let me know when we get home in a little bit which one you like within the space and with like the paint colors that I'm choosing for the cabinets because those will be like the light blue color. But yeah, I am obsessed with all three of these options. I think they're all so cute and unique. And um, if you guys ever have done the peel and stick tile, please let me know what your experience was like. Granted, I've never done that or real tile, so it'd be good to have the experience in it either way. But if y'all have done it, let me know how easy it was. Do you, did you find that it was a better decision than doing the real tile in the long run? And how's it holding up for you? Those are all like questions that we'd have. Now, that peel and stick tile, it did say that it's waterproof and also I think it's like a 12 year guarantee, which is nice. We're gonna leave here with these swatches and head out. Okay guys, so we are back home now and I wanna show y'all all the options that we have for the laundry room makeover. Sound off down below in the comments, which option is your favorite? So I wanna start off with countertops first. These are some of the swatches that we have. No matter what we do for countertops, I truly and honestly believe that it'll be a neutral somewhere in this family. And these are all pretty similar. So we're not gonna like pick individually between these for now. I think it's way more important for us to get like the floors down pat, but these are some of the options. These top three are from Home Depot and the bottom two are from Floor and Decor. We can get these fairly quickly, but these three samples, they take up to 14 days. So that, those are our options for countertops. And now for my favorite part, you guys saw that we went and we picked out swatches from Home Depot. And now I tried to go ahead and match them to the tiles that we found. So no matter which tile we do, this is the wall color that we'll be going with. It's called Cotton Knit, which is a really cute, soft, almost like antique looking white, not pure white, but a really cozy white. And then the first towel we picked out was this one right here. It is 69 cents per square foot. And all of the towels look pretty different from each other. So I paired it with this color for the cabinet. So you can just imagine blue cabinets and then this would be the flooring in there. So guys, this is option number one. Okay guys, and this is the next piece of tile that we picked up. It's actually peel and stick. I do know that the box of these is $12.99 and you get 10 tiles in each box. So um, I think it would be fun, but again, you guys let me know if you've ever used a peel and stick tile. And I paired this tile with this cabinet color. It is called Clear Pond. Now this blue is my absolute favorite. I think these two complement each other very well. And I'm not necessarily trying to get like the exact match for any of these. I want it to be a little bit of like switching it up, mixing it up a bit. So I think these two just, they look bomb together. So this is option number two. And finally, you guys, we have option number three, which is really kind of the oddball out in a sense, because I never would have thought I would have picked up something like in this shade of blue family. But as you can see, it's kind of like a really pretty navy. And these inner corner pieces are what I would say are like a light dim. So I paired it with this color, which is called Ocean Boulevard. But honestly, this clear pond is everything. I think this might be a better match. So this is option number three, y'all. Okay guys, well that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope y'all really enjoyed it. And make sure you leave me your um, opinions down below, either option number one, two, three, or four. Personally, I'm going, the one I love the most right now is option number two, the peel and stick tile. I think it looks so gorgeous. So I'm really kind of steering in that direction. 
but y'all let me know what you guys think and then in our next episode we will finally begin work but i love doing like these design episodes with you guys just to go through kind of like the process and just put everything together so we can all get on the same page and then we are going to move into construction because as y'all can see that room needs a lot of work like it don't got nothing in it it needs paint it needs everything so it's gonna be a complete makeover and i'm really excited also i'm not sure if you guys know but if you don't i got a puppy recently and i have a separate video coming out all about her and so that's why this project kind of is taking a front seat because originally we were gonna work on the patio but then I was like it's getting cold outside so no and then I was gonna work on the office but then I was like no that can wait I'm trying to tick the things off that are kind of like necessities you know so this is one of those things that is gonna be so functional and like so convenient so I think it's gonna work out really great anyways that's enough rambling and enough talking i really miss sitting down and just talking to you guys and so i guess i'll be seeing y'all in my next video bye guys